Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we're talking about callback functions that are available in Solidity. Solidity have two callback functions. The first one is a receive callback function, and the second one is a fallback callback function. So the receive callback function is being called when ETA is being sent to a smart contract. If a smart contract doesn't have the receive fallback function and eta is being sent to it, it will revert. Except it has a function that, has, that is marked as payable that eta is being sent to. And the second one, the fallback function, is being called when any method is called on the smart contract. And the method or function doesn't exist on that smart contract. So the fallback method is being called instead. The fallback method can be marked as either payable or not marked as payable. But the receive function will be marked as payable. And they, mo they must both be marked as external function. So an example is this payable contract. This function receive is, this function is executable on, on a call to the contract with empty call data. It is executed on plain data transfer and it relies on 2300 gas being available from send or transfer, leaving room to perform other operation except basic logging. So removing this still makes it valid. It only just means that this smart contract can receive ETA. So this smart, this smart contract here now can be considered as a sink. So we can just keep sending money money to this smart contract and there is no way to get it back. But because receive relies on gas of 2300, the best thing that we can do is just to emit events. Writing from states, writing to states, reading from states would require more than the gas that we supplied. But if we want to do more, we could use the fallback callback method. The fallback callback method can either be marked as payable or not payable, and it must be marked as external. And whenever data is being passed, Call data whenever it's been passed, the fallback method has been called. In the case whereby there is not a receive method and it has been sent to the smart contract, but the fallback method is available, the fallback method will be called. But then the fallback method was then marked as payable. Further down this course, while we are building our payable smart contract, we're making use of the receive fallback method and you see how it's been used. See you in the next lesson.